when I was riding, I was only riding, you know, as a schoolboy and then a junior from the age of 12 to 18. But I mean, there was no sophistication, uh, hardly no. at all. When I broke my leg and eventually got into this fashion game, um, I couldn't. I was in hospital for three months, but afterwards I couldn't ride my. I couldn't bend my leg enough because it, you know it's all locked up. Now I mean, you do physio, you do this and that, and then it was just <laughs> nobody That's knew. It. All gone. Yeah, no, yeah. So it was the fact that people came out of that era. You know, it's amazing, really. Yeah. Brian Robinson was and it? Now, yeah, Robinson. Yeah, amazing, one, really. really yeah, Hoban. Do you think that heroes like you know Copy would be your hero? I guess. Yeah, Copy, Ancatil, and uh, as you know, I joined the local uh, cycle club, Beasting Cycle Club, and I used to come back at the age of 12 saying something like, oh, I'm really, I really love Jacques Ancatil. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and my dad said, where did you hear that, that word? Yeah. Well, what are those words? Yeah. Not even where did you hear it, but like, what are those words? Because he just never spoke in a foreign language. So They've never been abroad? No, n ever. So, you know, people like uh, Ancatil and, and Copy, and then it went into the sort of Poulidor and Merckx and, uh, and then, you know, some of the more Roger Rivier. And that's tragically had the very bad accident, you know, where he went over the side of the... First right. Yeah, uh, and broke his back, I think, sadly. And then there are a lot of them that I was trying to remember, actually. Rick Van Loy. Loy. Yeah, and... Uh, yeah. Van Imp, yeah. And um, Derrigard, yeah, yeah. I can never pronounce them even now. Um, yeah, so they were, that was sort of continuing, obviously, uh, Tommy Simpson, because he was interesting because he wore, he used to wear like a Prince of Wales suit and a, and a bowler hat, you know. Very yeah, very, and, and, and an umbrella, and it was yeah. like, that. It, it was quite interesting because it was like really early self-promotion in a way without realising, if turning up a, at a, you know, a bike race in a Prince of Wales suit with an umbrella, and uh, you know, it's funny because sitting in England looking at continental racing and thinking it's it's Italian, no. road racing is Italian or French, isn't it? Yeah. And then to have an Englishman being overtly English is kind of doesn't quite work for. And them. and doing doing well. Do, I mean, yeah, 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 doing winning well. World championships. Yeah, yeah. I wonder whether it was just because we didn't know so much then. You know, I think I think mm. with the with modern, uh, you know the world being such a small place in terms of the internet and then obviously travel, texting, um, we all sort of know about everything all the time. And yeah. so I just think that there isn't that, there isn't that sort of uh, mystery that there used to be. You know, it's that sort of thing where almost what you don't know it's more special. So, I, what it's like. so I mean, obviously, with with all my he uh, heroes, there's no way. I mean, I used to go into Nottingham, as, uh, and having saved up, go to a news agents that occasionally had international magazines, and, uh, and then I heard about this Lickeep or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And um, and now and again, one would slip through the net and come in, and it happened to be on the time I'd got me three quid or something like that, and it was just this. Bible that I just carried around. It was just so special. But I mean, now we all know, you know, immediately after the race, people are, you know, Twittering, blogging. So in a way, it's, it's not just about cycling, it's just we're just over informed. That's why, in a way, I'm quite, I'm quite pleased the way I follow it personally because yeah. I don't, I don't use a computer and uh, you know have it's them. Personal button. conversations. Yeah, yeah. you know, because well, I have a home in Italy, so I watch the tour there because I don't have a television at my house. So I sit on the step in the oh, mechanics uh, area and watch the tour with him. They don't speak English. I don't speak Italian. Well, you know, bits and bobs. But it works fine. But we're fine. It's a universal language. Yeah. So I, I mostly follow it. Um, on the uh, sitting on the step in the poly mechanics <laughs> workshop, <laughs> workshop. But what's so lovely is that because um, I've got I know quite a lot of the riders that um, I just they just one of them is allowed my fa mobile phone number because right? there's only only about eight people have got it in the world and Fantastic. one guy's got it so he keeps me in touch with what's going on every day and uh, I have quite emotional is the wrong word but I have pretty pretty profound little short conversations with some of the lads who, you know, are almost in tears or they're feeling very jubilant or... Yeah. And I feel very privileged, you know. Yeah, completely. And is that... Yeah. Is it just cycling that's like that for you? Yeah. Yeah, no, cycling is the one... I mean, you know, I, 
No, I, I, that's the only sport I follow, really. Yeah. No, so, I mean, I don't really cycle much, but I'm still, as you can see, pretty involved in that. And getting more so, I think. Very much more so, yeah. It's like a beacon for all these riders to keep coming in. Yeah, it's and it, yeah. it's very nice, actually. I mean, because just today, just, you know, Mark Cavendish just turning up and saying, you know, he's pull free, just to yeah. say hi and yeah. completely mucked my day up <laughs> in terms of the schedule. It was lovely. They're quite humble, aren't they, still, riders? It's not like oh, it's where no. the pros are so oh, yeah. stratospheric. Yeah, because Mark Renshaw was here. Just because He just got married in Australia and he was just here. And, uh, you know, somebody like him is just... just Amazing lead right. out man, and, yeah. and his famous <laughs> nutting session in the. Yeah, he's, uh, he's but, not shy and retiring. Is no, it? but you know they're, they're just they come in and they're just nice lads, yeah. and they, of course they love this room because yeah. it's like, it's a like yeah, and it's like oh wow, oh, I could spend one of them said oh I could spend about three days here, Paul. It's really great, yeah. and uh, so that's really nice for me.